Hey there awesome and amazing people, my name is Rosonus and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved with some more Extinction update news. I was playing Fallout 76 and uh, then people said well you need to check out the Frost Titan, the Frost Titan is there and uh, here you can see it getting spawned in. There it is, there it comes. The Frost Titan. Sadly enough, no in-game sound. Uh, we had an interview, or there was an interview at least going on uh, with Chris Wallaby, uh, the creators of uh, Arx File Evolved. And um, well, uh, sadly enough, no in-game sound, but we know a lot more now of the Frost Titan. And I think it is really huge, it is massive. Uh, Chris said that this one would be uh, twice as high as Rockwell. Well, Rockwell was already huge. This one is twice as high it is just insane and we can see this is all corruption uh, so it has a corrupted note on its angle and uh, yeah this is also part of uh, the taming method so you can tame these huge giant creatures and uh, uh, I'm gonna let you hear Chris Wallaby uh, saying more of this and he also explains a little bit more about uh, the focus of gameplay because it is uh, more tech based and uh, yeah I will let him speak now one of the things with extinction like a big focus is on tech gameplay and so we wanted to kind of bring a new coat of skin to a lot of the tools that that you guys are used to already and so this becomes uh, uh, a key part of kind of dealing with these titans and, and fighting them. So you'll see here that, that Zane is focusing on uh, a, a node that's on the ankle of the titan. And that's actually the primary mechanic behind taming these guys. So uh, essentially corruption has overtaken um, these titans and you know they're they're kind of evolved naturally in this habitat but then corruption has somehow come involved and and uh, started to corrupt them and so now they are actually uh they're they're now angry and working under the the control of the corruption and they're not happy about it and that's why they're your enemy and so to tame them what you do is focus on these points of corruption that are on their body and try to take them out so now we know how to tame these creatures. We need to take out these uh, giant nodes of uh, yeah, corruption. They, they, they infuse the creatures with corruption and that's why they get uh, totally angry. Here you can see uh, it disappeared from the ankle and a new one will appear very soon on its head. And this frost titan also has a frost breath and you can see now the player is getting affected by it. He has ice all over his body so I can imagine this will slow you down and that kind of things. And there you can see the note uh, on the side of its head. So uh, that's the next note they uh, need to destroy. And I also wonder what will the level be because this one is level 1500. Level 1500 that, that is just insane. So I don't know if this is the normal level in the game or not or that they uh, spawned it in and uh, did it like that because uh, they said that uh, tribe mates of the player uh, were in a cave you need to be in a cave and do something in a cave and then you uh, can summon this creature and uh, Chris said well you can stay up there stay on the outside uh, yeah put everything ready uh, for the fight and uh, yeah the tribe mates uh, can just go enter the cave and uh, do the cave thingy and then uh, let the boss spawn so I'm really curious uh, will it be level 1500 because my god that is just insane and here you can see the player spawning in Rexus to fight the boss and uh, yeah usually we fight bosses with creatures and uh, in extinction it will be different and uh, Chris will say something about it one thing we wanted with these titans was to really change it up and those Rexes are gone now and so, you know, we want... They just got demolished. Yeah, exactly. We want, like, we want to bring some fresh gameplay. So, you know, a number of us... Yeah, that one really got demolished. <laughs> so, a number of us come from different fighting games, from different games and different genres in our backgrounds of development. And we wanted to kind of bring something new to the boss fights rather than just Rex spam. And so, even if you're here to kill it, Rexes aren't the best way to go. And so, it's going to kind of change up the meta and drive people to kind of come up with new ways. So we need to fight these titans, these uh, sub-bosses, a little bit different uh, than normally. And also, in a moment, he will mention uh, three sub-titans. And I thought they said to us there would be four. So I'm a little bit confused now. But yeah, let's see what he says more. The sub-titans, uh, of which there are three, and this is one of them, they actually only have one difficulty. However, the way that w we still wanted to have the kind of alpha, um, the gamma, beta, alpha... Um, gameplay and the way we decided to do that was I, I talked a little bit earlier about the the fact that you can damage the Titan uh, during the fight in addition to taming it so what happens when you tame the Titan is the amount of damage that you've done to it actually translate over to how powerful the Titan is post tame and so you know if you're 
if you're a little less, uh, there's a little less finesse in your in your battle against the Titan, uh, then you're going to come out with a little less strong Titan. Um, it's going to have lower health. Maybe it's a little, you know, it's a little less strong. And um, that I think that will give these guys kind of a, a little bit of a top end and a little bit more of a challenge to mm -hmm. getting the best Very one. Very dynamic. Yeah. So I wonder if you shoot the nodes uh, and only the nodes, would you also harm the Titan or not? I don't know. Maybe we will. But yeah, you have to uh, take a close eye out on uh, its health. You don't want to uh, get it killed if you want to tame it. But you also want to do a lot of damage to it so you get a really powerful t uh, Titan for yourself. So yeah, it, it's kind of a mixture. And um, they also sa said something about uh, how long can you have the Titan for yourself. Well, for now uh, they said uh, something about five days. So if you tame it, for example, on this server, you can have it on this server for five days. But you can also transfer it to other servers. So for example, you tame it on uh, server X and uh, you transfer it to server B because you want to uh, do a raid for example over there and as you can see it is really powerful but yeah this one is level uh, 2250 and the creatures are just uh, low level so it is uh, <laughs> it is just insane with the levels but uh, yeah you can transfer this creature to another uh, server and uh, once it is on that server you cannot uh, have it for a couple of days for example on day one you transfer it to a server uh, to another server then it is not like you can have it on that server for four days no they said it will be uh, for a short amount of time for example uh, one hour so you transfer it to another server to uh, do a raid or something you can only have it on that server for uh, for example an hour and uh, things will change uh, at least things are um, uh, it can be changed when the game is getting released and with the feedback of the people uh, it might be that uh, for example instead of five days it will get into three days and after transfer it will for example instead of one hour will be two hours so these titans are very powerful and there should be something to counter it and uh, Chris has also something to say about this so let's hear it I honestly think their counter um, is as much fun if not more oh, fun oh yeah so. I would definitely agree Cool. Well, he also has the, the cool thing on his back. <laughs> oh yeah, so the thing, the thing about each of these titans is that uh, at, when you tame them, we, we kind of went back and forth about whether to have you construct a saddle for them or you know, how that gameplay would work. And we decided um, semi-early on that since it's a big investment to tame these guys and they're, they're not permanent tames uh, in PvP and, and PvE, uh, that we wanted to kind of give you a, an extra little reward for that. And so they come equipped after taming with one of these platform saddles and it's built on its back and each of them is in a different spot. And, and you know, with kind of the different gameplay that each of the Titans is suited towards, it kind of lends itself to a different type of set of structures that you might build on its back. And the other thing that's really interesting about this for PvP is that, uh, you know, I said that this thing can wreck dinos and can do a bunch of damage <laughs> and stuff. But if you if you actually hop into first person real fast, Zane, so the the pilot is actually just right on the front of the Titan, right above its head, in this little carriage, and the Titan the the pilot is actually very vulnerable. And so what can happen is mid fight if somebody's able to snipe the pilot out of the titan then you know if they've set the, the the titan to passive then of course it's dead in the water just standing there or if they've set it to aggressive who knows like it's gonna have a mind of its own and go crazy i think it is really cool that they add a saddle to it as soon as you tame it and uh, yeah this creature is so powerful so i can imagine uh people uh, will get angry when uh, this one is on your pvp server and yeah, people's bases are uh, getting taken out by, by this creature and all the kind of things. It will go crazy and, and the most powerful uh, tribes will get the most powerful uh, creatures. And yeah, I'm really curious how it all will work for PvP and if people uh, will still have their own nice gameplay or that the gameplay will be ruined because of the Titans. But we will learn that soon enough. And in case you wonder how uh, does it work with all the titans, the different titans, how many can there be on the server? Well, Chris says the following thing about it. And then, you know, I think it's worth noting that only one of each type of titans is allowed on uh, any given map at a time. And so on Extinction, what that means is Zane here has, has summoned and tamed the titan. 
Uh, that means that in order, in order for somebody else to summon and fight or tame the Titan, they'll have to wait for his to expire or on PvP go and take his out uh, in order to do that. And it creates kind of a little, with the three different Titans, a little bit of rock, paper, scissors kind of gameplay. And I think that part that is coming now is really cool. Check the transition from inside of the dome to the outside. The world is changing and over there is another dome, right over there. But I think it is really cool. If you're inside of a dome, these rocks look snowy. But if you go to the outside, they are not snowy at all anymore. I think that is really cool. A cool mechanic and a cool feature. And also this, this, this world, it looks amazing. It looks so big. And there we have the Tech City. The Tech City uh, would be one of the easiest spawn places. Over here we have a giant skeleton, at least down there. And, and my god, I cannot wait to check it all out. And I really wonder how big the world will be. Because there is a world uh, underneath this world. And... and Man, 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 uh, we see two domes over here, the snow dome and uh, the other dome. I think this world is amazing. But yeah, I'm gonna end the episode off here. This is it for the Frost Titan. And uh, if you want to see more, uh, there is plenty of more on that Twitch channel. So go check that Twitch channel out. And uh, yeah, uh, it is for me now almost 2 a.m. So it is time for me to go to bed. Sadly enough, I cannot watch more of the stream. But yeah, that will be it. So that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If any thoughts about this video, I'll have them in the comment below. And as always, if you haven't already watched more in the future, then smash that subscribe button like a maniac and i'll see you all in the next video stream bye bye lovely people